Game On presents Billy West. Uh, do you stumble upon various voices when you go into the studio, or do you look at the character picture and then you create something from that? A little of everything. Um, they showed me drawings of the characters on Futurama. And, uh, you know, like Zoidberg, he was kind of corpulent, portly. And I figured he would have some resonance to his voice, but there had to be something quirky about him because he had all that cool meat hanging off his face. Right. So I was using, like... <clears throat> some vaudeville guys as references like uh, a guy named Lou Jacoby and uh, another guy in vaudevillian named George Jessel and they were both like marble mouth guys and uh, sort of super collided them cold fused them and became Zoidberg and you know I mean did you see the movie Arthur the original no I didn't with Dudley Moore there's a guy that comes up to him and says what's it like to have all that money and it was Lou Jacoby. So, you know, it's a sort of a noblesse oblige to him, you know, a tip of the hat. Okay, and then um, the character Fry that you do. Yes. It, it's pretty similar to your speaking voice as it is. So yes. So then when you're, when you're voicing him sometimes, do, you, do they tell you, like, be more like Fry, even though Fry is kind of your own voice as it is? No, they kind of let me do my thing, but I remember what I sounded like when I was 25, and I was very tentative and, and whiny. You know, man, all this constant exposure to radiation is making me thirsty. You know, I was always bitching about stuff. Um, I was wondering if I could hear an argument between Fry, Professor Farnsworth, and Dr. Zoidberg about anchovies. Oh, you'd have to put me to the improv class. Anchovies. I'll eat anything. Bring me, bring me your kid. I'll eat the kid, too. Because Zoidberg could eat. Oh, you got to mind your own whatever. All right, both of you. Shut up! <laughs> Who's your favorite character to voice? Um, that's like asking me who my favorite kid is. You know, it's, it's really tough because I put uh, a ton of thought into it. I really do. People think, that guy doesn't work. What does he do? He, right. He's a minor bird. Well-paid minor bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could we hear a little bit of Brennan Stimpy? Hey, Ren, will you button me? Will you shut up, you fool? Yes, I shall kill you! And finally, Dr. Zoidberg, the... That came from the Three Stooges. Okay. That was Curly in the Three Stooges. He'd go... Nah, nah, nah. Everything I've ever done, I've tried to put some of the Three Stooges in it. Oh, really? Absolutely. Okay, have you seen the new Three Stooges movie? Yes, I was a consultant on that movie. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I haven't seen it, but I've heard so of I know you can't, about it. So, I know you can't see me, but I'm sticking out my tongue to all the a-holes that said, what do you think you're going to do with this? What you, where are you going to go? There's no future in this. And, and I live to get paid to be a consultant on a Three Stooges movie. Hmm. So there, everybody <laughs> that knew me. Take that. Yeah, take that. It's all about the game. And how you play it. All about control. If you can take it. Do you think that we could play another game? Maybe I could win this time. listening to Game On with Jeff Johnson on GameandTrain.com.